so before we move on into the various application of definite integrals i would like us to kind of remind ourselves on um an area as an antiderivative or yeah antiderivative as an area right so and also kind of add the fundamental theorem of integral calculus and how it's related to or it's same as um definite integral or antiderivative as an area so basically in general in general the general method to find the area under a graph for example a graph y equal to um f of x between um the points x equal to a and x equal to b is given by the following important theorem and that is that theorem of or the fundamental theorem of integral calculus so for instance let f of x right let's f of x let f of x be a continuous real value function on the interval a and then what b as you have learned already in shs you know when something is like you have x and hold y so it means that the a represents the x value and then the y represent uh, the b represents the y value so let x represent uh, a continuous real value um, function on the interval which is what um, a and b so based on that we can say that so based on that we can say that the integral of a to b of the function f of x dx right with respect to x is equal to the integral so assuming that if f of x is the function it means that its integral right the integral of this f of x is the same as the capital f of x assuming this this notation that we are using so based on that we are going to get the integral of f of x dx is equal to f of x and then remember the limits lower limit and then upper limit and therefore our final answer is going to be f of what b the upper limit minus f of what a the lower limit where this f of x as i've explained earlier on is the antiderivative or any antiderivative any antiderivative derivative any antiderivative of the function which was given in the question f of x right so that is it so that's the meaning or the interpretation of the fundamental theorem of integral calculus so basically this kind of notation this notation let me pick up some two here so as you can see this kind of notation over here the capital f of x the capital of x with the limits lower limit a and the upper limit b is just a shorthand to just to as just sort of a shorthand to substitute these values of x which is x equal to a and x equal to b into this particular function which is the integration that we found and also subtract it from its counterpart so basically it's going to be the substitution of the upper limit into the function and the substitution of the lower limit into the function so we should note that any antiderivative we should note that we should note over here that any antiderivative of the function f of x will work in the above theorem any antiderivative of the function f of x will work in the above theorem that we have discussed right now so if we have two different maybe antiderivatives maybe f of x and g of x of f of x then they must differ by a constant maybe g of x equal to g uh, f of x plus c for some constant value c new um I, i'll try and use some examples to kind of explain this so they can get this one very well or you can get this one very well 
so basically let's see something here let's see some cool example over here before we come and solve um these examples uh, before we can come and solve this example i want us to just see some cool examples around so basically let's pick this example we should find the area of the function right find the area under the function find the area under the function f of x equal to s squared plus 1 dx the interval x equal to 0 and x equal to 5 so this is the question given so you find the area under the function f of x equal to x squared plus 1 or the x of which x equal to 0 and x equal to 5 so this is just a simple question so based on the explanation i give earlier on when i was explaining the fundamental theorem of integral calculus the shorthand for this is given by the integral of the lower limit 0 to 5 and then the function value which is x squared plus 1 and then dx so this is the shorthand for all these plenty things over here so based on this you can start um, evaluating them so in finding the integral of this function over here x squared plus 1 we are going to get x power hot 3 over hot 3 and then plus what integral of 1 is what x so based on that don't forget that we have uh, we have a, con a, a limit which is what 0 to 5 and therefore as the fundamental theorem saying we do the upper limit we substitute the upper limit into the integral integration we have done and subtract it from the substitution of the lower limit into the integration that we have done so this is in simple terms we are going to get 1 over 3 multiplied by um 5 power 3 which is the substitution of the upper limit 5 power 3 over okay five over three because we have already bring um this one out right so let me write it again one over three multiplied by five power three plus five right and then this is the upper limit minus the lower limit which is what zero um zero power three over three right plus zero so you know that all these ones will go to zero and this one when we do it we are going to get um 125 over 3 plus 5 and at the end of the day we are going to get um 46 whole number um 2 over 3 you can also try to express into decimal uh, form you don't have problem with that right so this is a simple um, illustration using the integral um, fundamental theorem of integral calculus. So since we now understand and we have done a little bit of recap on the area as an antiderivative, let's try and solve this um, area example. So I have I have two area examples for you. You can so, uh, pause the video and apply the fundamental theorem of calculus, integral calculus, to do it so let's see something here so now suppose that y is the profit per unit or uh, per miles traveled and x is the number of miles traveled in thousands so the question is we should find the area under y equal to under y equal to um, 1 over x over the interval which is 1 4 
and then in, in, we should interpret the significance of this answer right so basically the same thing applying the fundamental theorem of integral calculus to find the area under the curve which is in this case the application that we are coming to solve application of the area that we are coming to solve it's being like the short first of all just write the shorthand first this type of solution so the shorthand for this whole question that has been typed over here it's summarized as integral of 1 to 4 and then the function is what 1 over x and the whole thing is what with respect we are integrating with respect to x so this is the shorthand for this so now that we have the shorthand for this what do we do next applying the fundamental theorem of integral calculus we just move ahead and integrate the function and we are, we are aware that integration of 1 over x is ln x right integration of 1 over x is ln x and therefore we are going to get ln x and then from ln x we should remember that our limits are 1 and 4 so based on that we are going to get applying the fundamental theorem of integral calculus upper limit minus lower limit and therefore we have ln of um, 4 minus ln of 1 and ln of 1 is going to give me 0 and therefore my final answer is going to be ln of 4 so when you take your calculator to type the ln of 4 you are supposed to get something like 1.39 as approximation or you can go ahead to write at to maybe four decimal place which is 1.3 3863. Let's look at the last example as we remind ourselves as um area as an entity with derivative so that we can move ahead to the different applications of definite integrals. So the last example it's that we should find the area under y equal to 1 over x squared over the interval 1 and b. So as I said in my previous video, right? The integral of 1 over x is the ln x, right? But if, but if you have an integral of 1 over x squared, is not ln x squared, right? It's totally wrong. You need to apply your law of indices to kind of help you simplify it. So based on this, what you can do is, first of all, I said write a shorthand, which is equal to the integral of 1b which is the one is the lower limit and uh, this one's the upper limit right so based on that one to b and then our function is going to be one over x squared and then put it in with respect to dx so now this is our shorthand for this so based on that we continue to do our integration and we are going to get um or let's simplify it first we are going to bring the x square up so we're going to be x power negative 2 right so the integral x power negative 2 and then that's integral of 1 to b and then with respect to dx so from here you can continue to integrate it and as usual what you can do is x power negative 2 right x power negative 2 so this place is not coming all right so let's write here so in all we are going to get x power negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 right and don't forget that we have our limit here which is 1 to b and therefore in simplifying this we are going to get x power negative 1 over negative 4 over negative 1 and then we have 1 to b and therefore in applying the fundamental term of integral calculus we are going to get negative 1 over when you, uh, b minus right as negative 1 over b um that is um the upper limit and then min minus the lower limit which is what negative one over one 
and therefore this one will give up positive and at the end of the day we are going to get one minus b uh, one minus yeah, one minus one over b so this will be your final answer so let's quickly go here i forgot to get an interpretation of this so now we got a value of 1.386 and when we come to the question we were told that this value is in thousands so if this value is in thousands we are going to get 1386.3 so it's in dollars right yeah it's in dollars so we can say that considering the unit which is in dollars we see that the area represent a total profit of 1386.3 when the mouse traveled increases from 1000 cause 1000 uh, miles to 4000 miles because the 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 upper limit was 4 right so that's the simple interpretation of the answer that we got from there so thank you for watching and see you in my next video under application of definite integral